straight past mine. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Are you going to be to break your PB now? I haven't got no need brakes. Brakes are for girls. Perfectly acceptable landing. Distance. Right, let's see the bottom of your shoes. I don't think I've got any shoes left. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, guess who's here again? Because I'm up at Darley Moor and uh, Mark set me a bit of a challenge today. It's not kind of a how, how low can you go type challenge but it's more about developing my skills as a pilot because as I've always said in a lot of my videos it's not so much about uh, stopping learning the moment you've got your license. It's about every time you go up improving yourself as a pilot. So what did you say to me? <laughs> well, I, I, you know what I'm like. I, I always prefer to have a reason to go for a fly. As much as it's nice to get up in the air and just go for a bimble like we did the other day. Always yeah. to have a plan. A bumble. A bumble. Yes, yes. officially a bumble. Yeah. Hashtag going for a bumble. Yeah. Um, and, and one of the things that I wanted to sort of see you do um, is stopping in the shortest distance. Because mm. actually, it's a really, really challenging skill. Mm. And um, I, I think if you go and do some and I go and do some, because it's something I want to do, <laughs> that we can have a, a bit of a laugh and a giggle with it. Right. And, and let's face it, you know, I think these are quite fair odds because, yes, okay, I've got a lot of hours as an instructor, but you've got a lot of hours on a PB and I haven't. Doesn't mean they're any good hours. Well, no, this is true. I've seen your videos. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I yeah. think there's a fair competition there yeah. because... Yeah, I'm used to a, a different type of flex swing, yeah. completely. So, so just quickly, on this note, Mark's already <laughs> set this up. Here we go. So we've got his attempts at the back all labelled up and my attempts at the front. So effectively, Mark's going to stand on the airfield, clearly in a safe position, uh, and is going to watch me. We're going to be on radio as well. I've got three attempts uh, to, to land short as, lo as, as best I can, and he's going to take some footage of that as well while I'm doing my flights, and then we're going to swap over I'm going to grab the camera, <laughs> I'm going to video on the ground say absolutely arm, nothing. <laughs> so there will be a video evidence of Mark doing this as well. Um, so anyway, let's get on with our checks. The aircraft are almost ready to go. So let's go and have a bit of a, a learning flight, but have some fun at the same time. So let's get going. So we're actually just walking out the, uh, we're pacing out the runway at the moment. So we're going off the AstroTurf runway here at Darley Moor because we've read Ben Ashman's manual. <laughs> what are we doing, Mark? Oh, we laughed. Didn't we find that <laughs> funny? So we have a Ben Ashman cone as well. <laughs> so we're going to pace it out and we'll literally just give you a very brief overview of what we're doing. So those who have seen my videos before will know we're actually that the AstroTurf is a half and then another half. So we're walking down a little bit at the minute where there's only two strips. And the starting point for the measurement of the landing is starting here? Yeah, here. So this is where it goes double. <coughs> and then we're going to measure that way. Uh, the wind is light, but down the runway. Ish. Ish, with a bit of cross. <laughs> so yeah, basically we're going to pace it out and see what uh, we can do in relation to Ben Ashman's figures in the book. So anyway, all right. <laughs> see how we get on. Then. Temp's good, RPM's good. So sorry for the lack of camera two in all the fun and games. I forgot to put a memory card in it. Right, so this is attempt one and I'm just going to do a normal approach to see what happens. Check in final. Looking long, looking short. Looking long.
You do realise it's downhill and you're just going to coast. <laughs> You'll be using your boots. Right, so that's uh, flight number one over. Yeah, so right now, I think it's a bit of an unfair contest because uh, <laughs> I've got a foot break and he hasn't. So I think he's going to be using his boots to land and break himself. When I was happy with that approach, I don't think I'm actually going to do anything different. Uh, downwind checks, fuel sufficient, awareness of the room. I'm really high. Looking long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Trim is set. Wind and weather's are good. Awareness. I am on the runway. Visor is down on the bar. Neutral. Full power applied. Far coming forward. It was a bit turbulent on that one. Darlingmore traffic and Golf Foxtrot, Whiskey Lima Romeo. Final runway zero one. AstroTurf Darlingmore. Okay, centre line speed, approach looks good at the minute, looking long, <laughs> uh, I'm going to taxi back in. I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> oh. What a lovely sound. For some reason, although it's the same engine in a paramotor, it doesn't sm sound anywhere near as noisy. Mark's taken off and he's on his, his first attempt. So, here we go. Mark one, two and three. Here we go. He's on centre line. There must be a bit of a crosswind up there because he's Canted off to my right. Getting a bit of a kick off the hangers and the trees. That's what I was getting as well. Straight past mine. One, two, <laughs> and three. <laughs> I've got no brakes, he says. I think we need to walk this way because I don't think he's going to get it any shorter at this rate. Attempt number two. Drops through there every time because it's behind the hangers. Oh really, Mr. Hilton? Oh really? Nice one, keep it straight. <laughs> there we go, number two. That is number two. 
much, much improved. I don't know if you can see the blue coat down there. Oh, you want it better back, do you? <laughs> Attempt number three. Couldn't have picked a better evening to try this out. Look at that sunset, everyone. He's just holding off, holding off. There we go. Bit of a wiggle. He's turned. <laughs> he really wants to do it. Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? <laughs> right. Admit. How much before the duel were you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be fair to break to your PB now? I haven't got no needs brakes. Brakes are for girls. Perfectly acceptable landing distance. Right, let's see the bottom of your shoes. I don't think I've got any shoes left. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, whichever way this camera's looking at the minute. Oh. That's brilliant. The sun's just popped out from underneath the uh, from underneath the, uh, the the layer of cloud. We've had a fantastic evening, and I hope that's been a bit more of a, an understanding of how you can actually land a PB really, really short. Uh, not quite the distance of Mr. Ashman, however, that was good fun, and I learned a lot from that. So we'll leave this video here. You've been doing loser behind my back, have you? No. Anyway, we'll leave this video here. Until next time, everybody. Bye, safe.